Welcome to the backyard. My name is Cosmo and if I can cook, so can you. It's a beautiful day out. A little breezy, a little cold, but we're still out here doing it. Let's see what we're cooking today. Earlier this week, I asked you guys on the Cosmo Can Cook Facebook page what you'd like to see me cook next. Overwhelming result was tri-tip. So that's what we're cooking today. We're going to do a tri-tip two different ways in one cook. Stick around. You don't want to miss this one. And now it's time to, come on, say it with me, crack one open and let's cook. Let's get these tri-tips cut open, cleaned up, seasoned up, and put onto some heat. These are some pretty good looking tri-tips. A little silver skin on the back to clean up, a little bit of fat, not too bad. First things first, real sharp knife. We can take off a little bit of this silver skin here. It's This silver skin is not too thick, so I'm not too concerned. But we want to maximize our seasoning adhesion, so we'll clean it up. So the reason this is called a tri-tip is it's got three points, three tips, one, two, and three. And you'll see that the grain runs into different directions. On this side, it's running down. On this side, it's running more out. You'll probably see it better there. So when we cut our final cuts, we're gonna wanna cut against the grain until we get to this point, and then flip and cut against the grain this way to get those nice, perfect tender bites. Now when it comes to seasoning, you can get creative and take it in any direction you want. If you want more of a barbecue style one, you can season it that way. For our purposes today, we're going to do one on a smoker and one in a sous vide. This container, I have the seasoning we made in the rib video. 16 mesh black pepper, diamond crystal kosher salt, and a little bit of garlic powder mixed in. I'm just going to go liberal. It's a nice windy day, so this ought to be fun. We're going on the top rack to prevent it from overcooking from this direct heat from the bottom. We'll get nice smoke, nice convection up top. In we go. Now we're going to start adding seasonings and liquids for our marinade. First off, we're going to add a little sweet in the form of brown sugar. About two good pinches. A touch more garlic powder. I did put some salt and pepper in here already. Now we're going to add some diced chipotle peppers. Oh, that just smells amazing. It's going to give us some heat, some smoky flavor. It's just going to be delicious. So we did about half a jar. The jar is eight ounces, now yeah, maybe a quarter jar. So probably about two, three ounces. Our wet ingredients, pretty basic. Soy sauce actually goes really good with beef. We'll do probably about a quarter cup. And then to add a little bit of acid to everything, about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Work that marinade in there, make sure it's Hitting every piece of that meat. Let's make a chimichurri. Olive oil, quarter cup. Red wine vinegar, two tablespoons. Maybe three. Salt. Pepper.
cheek of a lemon. Ah, you could stop right here and make an amazing vinaigrette that will go so good on any salad. So delicious. Time to come off the pit, give it a little rest before we go ahead and sear it off. Perfect. So our sous vide tri-tip is done also. Let's go ahead and cut open this bag. There'll be a lot of juice and stuff in there. Typically I reserve that, but since we added so much intense flavor, I'm not going to reserve it today. Yes, I know, it does not look that good right now. But as my good buddy Guga would say, watch this. Here's our smoke tri-tip with that chimichurri on top and then our sous vide tri-tip. I cannot wait to dive into this. All right, you guys asked for it. Here it is, tri-tip. We did one with the chimichurri. We did one in a sous vide. Off camera, I made some quick potatoes, just boiled them, let them cool off, roughed them up, threw them in the air fryer. A little Parmesan cheese, a little, um, what did I put on there? Rosemary. That's right. A little bit of rosemary, salt to finish it off. But I am so excited for this. What do you guys think? It looks fantastic. Let's see how it tastes. Let's go with the chimichurri smoked reverse here. I'm just going to get a big old bite here. Look at that. Let's see if it comes in focus. There we go. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. The tenderness is incredible. That chimichurri, just such a pop of flavor. You get a nice smoke flavor on the, on the steak. There's a great big old smoke ring. I don't know if it came up on camera or on the thumbnail, but there's definitely smoke in there. It just tastes out of this world. Super tender, flavorful. Got a good bark on it actually, even though it was only in the smoker for about two hours. Did get a little bit of a bark. Flavors are out of this world. You have to try this one. Before I get to the next one, I'm gonna do a little palate cleanser and try one of these potatoes. That's not even right. Holy crap. That is ridiculous. Lemon zest. So, so nice on there. Just got a good little pop. The Parmesan cheese has that nice saltiness to it. Well, I can sit here all night. 
I might sous vide. If you've ever sous vide, you know this is going to be ridiculously tender. I mean, look at that. It's just flopping away. Mm-hmm. Mmm. There it comes. Wow. You cannot beat tenderness of sous vide. It is just out of this world. The chipotle flavor is so prominent, but not very spicy. It's just such a nice, I don't want to sound trendy and say the word umami, but it's such a nice umami flavor. It is just ridiculous. Wow, this came out so good. Thank you guys for the suggestion. I hope you try this. I hope you make this. That is just ridiculous. It's not that hard, to be honest with you. It's about 4.30. I started this at 12.30, and that's with me adjusting the cameras, the lights, or camera, the lights, setting up the cookers. If I were to do this off camera, you could probably knock this out in two and a half hours. Tops. It was just ridiculous. Try this. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at Cosmo Can Cook. Facebook, Cosmo Can Cook. Wow, so much fun. Get out there, cook something, enjoy your backyard, enjoy food, be blessed. Take care, everybody. See you on the next one.